Good morning, afternoon, or night. It's me, David, the Bright Sun, and today for the Bright Sun Podcast, we're going to be talking about masculinity now. Masculinity is weird, especially nowadays, because it's such an ironic thing. Like You would think that if guys are so masculine that they would come up... like You would think masculinity wouldn't be such a topic, because if, if you were masculine or if enough guys are masculine... They would just problem solve it, right? They all meet up together or DM or I don't know, something. You would talk or you would really solve the problem. Okay, boys don't know what what it means to be masculine. Okay, then all of us problem solve to find, to find it out. But, you know, it's still quite the topic, quite the controversy, quite, quite the just the not solid like it's still not something that has been fully agreed upon yet and i guess it's going to take some more time until that is and sometime you know i'll also take it upon myself to figure it out but yeah like and the thing is too like masculinity is one of those things that you don't it's like it's like when you know that a movie is good but you don't really know exactly why. Like, if someone was like, oh, why is this movie so good? You would be like, um, you know, like, you're not a freaking movie critic or you didn't go to school for film or nothing, so you don't, you're not going to have all these terms and everything like that. But since you saw the movie, you, like, you know what's good. You recognize that it's good, and I think masculinity can be like that. It's like... Which is also one of the reasons why it's not agreed upon, because it just hasn't really been talked about, and it's not it hasn't really I guess been studied like that, at least to my knowledge, or from what it seems like, to where there would be a lot of things about it, I guess. But like I like you, you know when someone's masculine. I know when someone's masculine. Not 100%, but you could, you can kind of, it's some sort of an energy that somebody gives off when they are more masculine. That's also another thing, too. It's not about that you are, because when, when someone says you are masculine, or you you are a masculine man or whatever, right? That means overall you are more masculine. That doesn't mean you don't have any femininity, or any feminine traits in you because we're human. And as humans, we're supposed to have both. But females have more femininity and guys have more masculinity. So, I, you know, I hope that, like, I really hope that that's not a thing that you're thinking or people or people are, are thinking that, oh, if you're masculine, you can only be masculine. Because that's where the stereotypes or the things of like oh you know so you can't have any emotion you can't feel emotion you can't never cry you can't ever you know you don't ever sympathize or it's like no or even when it comes to girls like oh a girl can't ever make decisions or you can't ever trust a girl or she's she can never make sense it's like no you can still be a female still be as emotional as you will be and still be logical or still have logic it's that you know some people like, we tend to fall into extremes of things. So, usually, if someone is feminine, they're either going to be feminine or, like, mm, you know. Of course, you, there can be more in-betweens and stuff, but it's just very, a lot harder to come, a lot harder to come by. And see, yeah, it's, um, it's something like, you, as a masculine person or if you want to see what a masculine thing or <laughs> masculinity <laughs> it's definitely an energy like of course it's also an action but the action comes from said energy and the energy comes from the mentality and will kind of like persona you know like from the inner of the person to the outer to where okay this is more masculine and I think you could also have some feminine things that you you like you could have some things that overlap sometimes to where you can say okay 
she was quite masculine, but you're still not like, oh, but she really bossed me around and she really, you know, manhandled me. It was like, she, like a girl can still be feminine and do some masculine things, as you as you would say, right? But it's just, it's weird. It's weird the state that, I mean, it's not necessarily weird. It's kind of like, well, this is how it's going to really be if you really look at things. But it's, it's, it's interesting seeing where masculinity is at. And even when it comes to, like, measuring it, how do you measure masculinity? C could there be a point system? Could you be a 3 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 8 out of 10? Like, the other day, me and my homie were talking, right? He's also my roommate. And he said, if masculinity were on, like, from 1 through 10, he said he was a 5, right? And I found that interesting because I was like, well, what does 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 look like? Or is 10 even possible? You know, like, what, like what is a 10? And thinking about it to myself, I was like, well, I mean, heck, like, what would I be? Or how, what sort of, you know, how do you, because usually if you're going to measure something, at least I would, you would need that data, that, you know, quantity and quality of data to put into it to where it can be distributed kind of throughout these different rankings or, you know, okay, one would be maybe, you know, you do one or two things that are masculine per week, you, you know, something like that. So I'm not even sure how you could even measure if someone was more masculine or not, but of course you can tell when somebody is more masculine, but you can't, I'm not sure how to, you know, I, I wouldn't really be sure about the measuring part. So it's very interesting. I, I really recommend that you search up and really just dive, you explore what masculinity is, explore the topic, read some books, see some other podcasts, read some, I mean, um, watch some videos search it up because terms and things like these that we've been fighting over for the past few years or more, whatever, it's it's even harder to be a part of these conversations. It's even harder to think about it when you don't really know what you're thinking about, you know? So I really highly recommend that. I'm going to be looking more into that myself and I will relay what I have discovered but that's your, that's your task. That's your quest. All right, well, thank y'all for listening to the Bright Sun Podcast. Follow if you if you're if you're not followed yet. Follow. And have a good day, night, afternoon, or solar system or space wherever you're at.